Hi guys, in this video I'm going to compare Asana to Jira. So I'm going to show you the main differences and similarities between these two platforms and which one you should choose. So first of all, first of all I want to tell that I'm not paid by any of these uh, platforms, not by Asana, not by Jira. I just want to give you my honest opinion about the software. So let's start with some features. So in Asana, you can see this is a board. Here I have a list and you can see here it's very clear to you what you have to do. It's very easy to understand, but still a little bit complex if you're just starting out. Here's the task name. You can assign every task to a person. That's very nice. A date, approval stage. So you can change this for ready for review. Priority, you can change it to high, medium, low, and it is all customizable. So if you work in a team with a lot of people in here and you have a lot of different tasks that people have to do, it's really customizable and it's very clear to see what everyone has to do. If this project, for example, has to go to create this one, you can just drag and drop it in here. However, on Jira, it's a little bit more complicated and harder to understand, especially if you're just starting out. Um, for me, it was really hard to understand. Uh, as you can see here, it's still pretty easy. But you also have roadmap code and project pages, which you don't have on Asana. And Asana is, in my opinion, is this very easy to understand. So when we go to the pricing, so I'm going to type in asana.com slash pricing and jura.com. So here we are on the pricing of Asana. You can see it has a basic plan, a premium plan, and a business plan. When we go to the basic plan, it isn't limited at all. You have unlimited tasks, unlimited project, unlimited messages, unlimited activity log, blah, blah, blah. Unlimited file storage, 100 megabits per file, which is a lot. The only downside to this is that it has, uh, you can add a board up to 15 team members. So if you want to go for free, but you have more than 15 people you have to work with, it's not possible. You have to upgrade to the premium plan, which is still okay. When you go to Jira, you can see it has a free plan as well, but it's very limited, especially when you compare it to the standard and premium plan of Jira itself and the plan of Asana, which is even free. So if you want to go for free, you don't want to pay anything, definitely go for Asana. On Jira, you do have a standard plan, which is only $7, uh, uh, $7 a month per user. So for 10 users it's 70 a month it has a free trial of 14 days and the features here you have 20,000 users which is more than enough i hope um, you can automate it in single projects if you want to automate it in more projects uh, jira has that you have to go for the premium plan if you have a really really big business go for the enterprise one but i reckon you don't need to um, yeah so here you can just view the uh, features the storage is 250 gigabyte file storage. Still, the paid plan of Jira isn't as good as the basic plan of Asana, which offers this all for free. So I personally, when I go to the, when I go to the advice, I personally prefer Asana because you get more for no money. It's good if you have a small business or if you just want to use it for yourself as a task manager. If you do want to go for a paid plan, and with a big business, go for the premium plan of, of Jira. That's what I recommend. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. Please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.